All right, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a hands-on look at Claire Obscure Expedition 33 running on the Steam Deck Hornet. Now this is a visually striking turn-based RPG with some real-time elements, stylized visuals, and a pretty involved combat system. But here's the thing, while the game looks great, performance isn't perfect at least not out of the box. So in this video we're going to explore how it really performs on the Steam Deck, how to unlock more advanced settings and what configuration gives you the smoothest, most stable experience. Let's jump right in. So first off, what exactly is Claire Obscure? This is a turn-based RPG but with a twist. It leans heavily on timing mechanics, think, parrying and dodging but in a turn-based context you're rewarded for precise button presses during attacks and defenses, and that makes FPS stability really important, even though it's technically not an action game. Now, visually, the game has this painterly, almost surreal look. It's a cool style, especially in cutscenes, but in actual gameplay, it can come off a bit blurry if settings aren't dialed in. Now, out of the box, the game locks itself to 30 FPS and limits your settings menu when it detects the Steam Deck. But there is a fix for this. All you have to do is, before you launch the game, go into Properties and then go to Launch Options and type the following command. Steam Deck equals 0% Command% percent. You have to type it exactly as you see it. That tricks the game into thinking you're running it on a regular PC and not on a Steam Deck and suddenly you get full access to adjust things like TSR and XSS upscaling. You can see all the graphical settings like shadow quality, post-processing, effects, textures and more. From here you can fully optimize the game for better visuals or better performance or ideally a little bit of both. Now developers usually lock down settings on the Steam Deck because they want to consolize the experience say they want to provide you with what they think is the most stable performance but as you know the Steam Deck community we're all about tweaking our games more than actually playing them so it's great that we can actually unlock it. Now let's talk performance. I spent about an hour testing different settings and here's what I found. If you set the game to XSS on balanced it will look pretty good but performance drops during combat it can dip to 28, 25, even 23 FPS. Now, most of the time, outside and inside combat, you're going to get between 30 and 35 FPS, but sometimes during combat, it can drop down to as low as 23. Now, this is not ideal if you're relying on tight parry or dodge timing. Currently, I've only ever been in combat with about three or four enemies, uh, and it's never been really that tough to match the timing, but Maybe in later game it will get more chaotic, so it might dip even more. The game also offers TSR as an upscaling option, and uh, I tried a couple of different things. I tried setting TSR to low, which equals to 50% of in-game resolution, and I think this was the best overall performer. This gave me about 40 FPS outside of combat. It would sometimes go to even 50 FPS, but it wouldn't be stable. So let's just say it gave me 40 FPS and it's a pretty steady 30 to 35 FPS in combat. There are still some dips down to 25 FPS, but it felt smoother overall and I couldn't really notice this much in combat. Now we can set TSR to medium and high, but that's where things actually start to go below 30 FPS. So most of the time with TSR set to medium or high, in combat, you're gonna get between 27 and 30 FPS. Outside of combat, you're gonna get around 30 to 40 FPS. You can set TSR to custom, which means that you can drop it as low as 30%, or you can choose to set it between 50 and 70%. So TSR on low is 50% and TSR on medium is 75%. So you can play with it and you can set it to 60%, which is what I ended up doing in the end. I think this looks better. Uh, but uh, there is some performance here. Setting it to 30 looks absolutely awful. There's tons of ghosting and blurry character models, so you really have to play with this. And uh, I think anywhere between 50 and 65 is a good option. Between XSS and TSR, I would choose TSR low with this specific game. XSS is usually a good option, but uh, in this particular case, uh, TSR just wins for me. It looks overall better uh, and it provides better performance. Now a few quick things that you can do with the settings to uh, basically get yourself a little bit more FPS. You can turn off film grain. Now film grain by default if you have it on this will actually give you more FPS because it 
kind of adds this grain effect over the game and the game doesn't have to render the textures as much but it adds this weird blur especially on faces so i prefer to turn it off uh i would obviously disable motion blur that's a no-no for me so for chromatic aberration and vignette these are um, more preferential you can test with or without them they won't have that big of a performance impact now what has a big performance impact are shadows effects global illumination and post-processing i would set all of these to low and these will hit performance pretty hard now what i've been showing you up until now has been the game on the lowest possible settings but i did actually try setting it to medium settings uh, and uh, it is possible to run the game at medium settings on 30 fps but you have to drop shadows global illumination to low uh, as well as post-processing uh, uh, and effect now on the steel deck OLED, i got around two hours and 30 minutes of battery life with tsr set to low shadows and post-processing set to low and everything else set to medium now if you cap this to 30 fps you can stretch the battery life to almost three hours or even in combat it was mostly stable with these settings it dipped here and there but i was still able to hit my dodges and parries without much trouble now combat in this game is super timing based so stable fps really matters you press to parry or dodge at the right moment and if your fps drops below 25 it becomes a bit hard to judge when you need to dodge now the controls themselves feel great on the deck the game has full controller support the ui is clean and there's no weird mapping issues uh, it feels like a native handheld experience final recommendation settings if you want the best balance between stability and visuals here's what i would recommend setting tsr to low shadows and post processing to low film grain motion blur chromatic aberration off any other option you can set to medium set the fps cap to 30 and this gave me a mostly consistent 30 fps decent visuals and the ability to enjoy the game without constantly worrying about frame drops or ghosts now something to mention a lot of people have been testing this game with uh, some early access that they've gotten and it seems that the build they have uh, gave them some weird brightness issues where the game would be too bright outside and too dark inside i did not notice any of this perhaps there has been a day one patch that has fixed this but other than that i haven't seen any weird issues with the graphics with the brightness or any glitches like that so clear obscure expedition 33 is it worth playing on the steam deck i think absolutely with the right settings with a little bit of tweaking you can definitely enjoy this game on the steam deck the game has a very intriguing story the voice acting and the overall acting is excellent combat is fresh and reactive even for a turn-based system uh, visually it's very stylish even if it's a bit inconsistent depending on the graphical settings you choose i think visually the game is striking as long as you're comfortable tweaking a few graphic options this one is definitely playable and enjoyable on the steam deck and i imagine future patches will only improve performance all right that's about it for this video if this video helped you dial in your settings or just gave you a better idea of how the game runs please hit that like button drop a comment if you've tried the game yourself or you found a better configuration and hey if you're into steam deck content game tests and performance breakdowns don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video